Morning guys, I'm at a private woodland today and uh, I'm uh, going to be photographing woodland birds um, and I'm going to concentrate on great spotted woodpeckers actually and uh, yeah, um, just down there you can see there's a hide, this is my friend's hide um, and uh, it's a really good spot for woodland birds um, there's lots of supplementary feeding on going on here we've got a feeding station down the bottom there and uh, the sort of birds we get are uh, great spotted woodpeckers, jays, uh, long tailed tits, great uh, great tits, blue tits, uh, sometimes nut hatches, um, things like magpies as well, loads of squirrels, grey squirrels of course, they turn up everywhere. So I'm really looking forward to today because um, I'm bound to get lots of um, lots of woodland birds today because you know they're being drawn in um, to the feeding station and we're using um, horse chestnuts, uh, peanuts, uh, flutter butter, uh, all the sort of stuff that's good for birds. So, you know, um, this is good supplementary feeding. And um, this is, uh, at the moment, winter in the UK. And this is a great time to photograph woodland birds at a feeding station because there's not a great deal of extra food uh, around the woodland. So insects, there aren't very many insects uh, out and about at the moment because it's winter time. So if you want to attract birds to a feeding station, then winter is a great time because uh, because the food is scarce, they're much more likely to come in. And particularly the jays, you don't really see them here uh, in the summer because there's so much other food available in the woodlands. Uh, they don't need to come to a feeding station. Uh, quite often we'll see the great spotted woodpeckers all year round, but the jays, not so much. So. As I say, I'm probably going to do a couple of videos from here. This today is going to be all about um, looking for um, stills of great spotted woodpeckers and getting some video footage as well. Uh, ideally, some slow motion video footage, and then. Um, Probably on another day I'll concentrate much more on jays. I mean I'm bound to get some shots of all sorts of woodland birds today but I want to concentrate on getting that footage for the great spotted woodpeckers uh, and then we'll see what else turns up. So um, yeah I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, I'm going to go and head into the hive now and spend the whole day here. I'll keep topping up the, uh, the feeding station and we'll see what we get. So um, yeah bye for now guys. As I say, great spotted woodpeckers are fantastic birds. Um, they're really interesting to watch and they spend most of their time um, up in the trees. Uh, they're not like green woodpeckers that feed on the ground. They feed in uh, looking for insects and stuff like that in, in the branches and the trees. And um, in the summer, that's their main diet, insects and sometimes small birds. They'll um, actually break into nest boxes. And then in the, in the winter, it's much more seeds and, and nuts and stuff like that. And uh, with the uh, harder to open nuts, they'll wedge them in a crevice and use their beaks to, to break them open. And the other thing I think is fantastic about great spotted woodpeckers is the drumming. It, especially uh, late winter, early spring, they'll be drumming to sort of, you know, mark out their territory. And it's a fantastic sound, isn't it? It's, it's one of those sounds that sort of mark the start of spring, really. Um, and then when they uh, do start, start breeding, um, the male and the female, uh, will incubate the eggs together. They lay four to six eggs. Both parents incubate the eggs for about 15 days. And as I say, they um, both parents again feed the young for about 20 days before they fledge. Um, now the, uh, these birds don't migrate, they stay in the same spot. The young may move on uh, a few miles to different territories, but they don't do a big migration. And, and obviously their habitat is uh, woodland areas, but they will come into uh, gardens with mature trees. So um, uh, yeah, they're, they're quite widespread, as I might have mentioned. Uh, there's a good number of great spotted woodpeckers, but I think even though they're one of our more common uh, woodland birds, uh, they're just fantastic to photograph. They, they're so colorful. Their behaviour is so interesting. If they're threatened, they'll uh, spiral up the tree and sometimes freeze uh, so that they're um, obviously, whatever is uh, threatened, uh, the bird um, doesn't notice them. So they're, they're really interesting birds and they're great to photograph. When the uh, woodpecker pair are looking for a, a nesting site, they normally nest in old tree trunks and um, they'll make a hole or a cavity uh, inside that old trunk uh, for the uh, to lay the eggs and uh, the hole that they are like excavate uh, is normally about four to six inches uh, in diameter. Hi guys it's been a, a really great day today um, uh, I've 
I've got some great shots of the great spotted woodpecker. I've got some really nice stills. I've got some nice video footage, some slow motion video footage. It's been a really great experience. I've so, so enjoyed it. Um, I've got actually um, one shot of the woodpecker taking off as well. And uh, I've been wanting to get a sort of a flight shot of a woodpecker. I've got lots of the jays in flight, but a woodpecker has been just a bit tricky. It's not perfect, but uh, it's quite nice. And that's the great thing about wildlife photography. I've got some great shots today, but there's always a, another bit of behavior or another bit of action that you don't feel you're quite captured uh, perfectly. So that means we keep going, coming back to do it again. So um, although I've got some great uh, shots of the great spotted woodpecker, there's still uh, some other shots that I want to get. So I will be back and I will do it again, but it's been fantastic. And you know, the great spotted woodpecker, although they're quite common, they're widespread throughout the UK, they're just a beautiful bird. Uh, they're absolutely lovely, uh, great plumage. Uh, the male's got a little uh, red patch on the head, the female hasn't, that's how you tell them apart. Uh, but they're cracking birds, um, about the size of a, a blackbird really. So, you know, about not that, not that big, but fantastic. Bags of character, and I've had a really great time photographing them. Um, and so I've got some great stills, I've got some great uh, slow motion footage and I've got a flight shot which is nice. So I'll put the best of the pictures um, in this video, I'll, I've probably put some on already and I'll put some on the end and as I say I'll put some of the slow motion footage on as well. So yeah I've had a tremendous day, uh, I will be back to do it again at some stage um, but I've really really enjoyed today, um, I love the wildlife photography it's just and there's, as I say there's always another shot to get. So. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, and if you have enjoyed it if you can consider subscribing if you haven't already that would be brilliant and if you do subscribe press the little bell icon and you'll be notified when my next video is uploaded and also if you do have liked the video if you can give it a like a thumbs up that always helps my channel so thanks for watching guys and um, bye for now I'll speak to you soon